200 D Max. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! This car has never seen such speed before. What's that noise? Fan. Fan. Yes. Okay. It's fine. No? Maybe not. Maybe not. No, it's not fan. Good morning comrades, welcome back to the Nibble Cream, welcome back to the channel, back at Apex, back at the sunny days, fantastic, amazing, beautiful, blue sky, you know what else is blue? Today's car, fantastic, Volvo 240 GL, and when I think of Volvo or Sweden, I either think of an 850 or the, of course the boxy 240. Kasper, thank you so much for the invite. No problem. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. You brought the Swedish sun with you. Yes. Of Beautiful. Course. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm talking about the Volvo, not about the weather, because it's been actually quite a hot year so far. Um, well, it runs NS2R it runs. tires, as far as I can tell. Yes. Is there anything else hidden underneath the fancy crust and rust? Well, it has a turbo engine. Okay. From uh, 945. All right. Or, uh, 940 and 940. Okay. Uh, it's called a low pressure turbo. Uh huh. So it's the smaller turbo. Uh huh. Or it's a lower boost version. Okay. Uh, of the 940 turbo. Can we have a look? Of course. It's, yeah. It doesn't look anything special. But I mean, I'm sure you're getting more looks than uh, the average 911 here around the Nürburgring. Uh, yes. Yeah. A lot of people uh, here seem to like it. <laughs> look at the interior. This I, I love these. Like this is like perfect, yes, perfect nice. louvreous fit. Ah, it even like simulates the the rear headrest. That's also yeah, <laughs> similar yeah, yeah. styling. Beautiful, beautiful. Love the interior and the cheeky bucket seat. So underneath the bonnets. Oh yeah. Complete with oil leak and everything. Well, I hope we're not gonna leak anything on the track. Of no, course, no, but this should be. <laughs> there's one leak. I just haven't cleaned it ever. Ah, <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, there's Cute the turbo. little little turbo. A little turbo. And it's running like zero. Okay, so what's the power then, roughly? I know it's anywhere between like 160 to 180 maybe. Oh really? Something about All right. There. Nice. Probably. Perfect. And, and everything on the rear wheels because that's a proper old school Volvo. Yep, of course. And we have the mandatory moose detector uh, locators. <laughs> yes, the, yes. the lights. <laughs> the rally lights. Awesome. Well, I guess, um, is there anything else we should know or be aware of? I don't think so, it has lowering springs. Okay, and then tires, brakes. Brakes, crap. Crap, good to know, that's <laughs> yes. something we need to know. Yes, I'm gonna tell you all the perks and features. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> perfect, now I guess, uh, well, track opens in, uh, let's see, how, what was it, like 10 minutes or so? Yes. Yeah, if, like if my watch would show us anything, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so I guess let's hop in and do a lap. Yeah, of course. Awesome. All right, made it go. onto the track for now. Uh, Let's see how many cars are gonna overtake us. <laughs> <laughs> Probably everyone we saw at the parking lot. <laughs> well, let's make it a bit more challenging. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Woo! <laughs> Coming through. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it's gonna go get away from us here on the straight. Yeah, 
Jesus! <laughs> oh my god! There we are. Yeah, there's some big row of cars behind us, but. because they see the car moving all yeah, around yeah. probably they're like no we're good Speaking, it's gonna go off track in a minute <laughs> yes there we go temperature is all nice all good yeah it should be good all right cooling down a little bit now the boost <laughs> everything is happening so slow motion it's like it's yeah you turn in the car leans <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. then it goes oh maybe running a little, little hot a little bit little bit okay yeah it's like you keep it up a gear maybe okay sounds good We had the first half a lap fun, so <laughs> I think if you just take it easy, yeah, like on the maybe climb, maybe the climb section, yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll slow down from there. So don't worry. It's hard to tell because I don't usually drive the car this hard, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the brakes also want to have some rest. Yeah, I'm sure they, I'm sure they do. <laughs> usually the car will go this hard for like a minute, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll keep it like around. 4,000 RPM the next yeah, yeah, three, yeah. four minutes. Cool a little bit. Yeah. You see, I think as long as the temperature comes a little, it's time to go again. All right. Yeah, like I said, this climb is we're just gonna chill and. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this corner I find so tricky. Last. I always take the wrong line. Nah. Stay along left on the till uh, the photographer or the white sign uh, 125, and then uh, turn in late to the curve seven. So. Whip it in. to do the old school move of uh, putting the uh, the heating on <laughs> I don't know maybe it would work but well, usually it does with old cars okay we can do that you try uh, put it maximum hot <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 
it's going on. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, send it the rest. Yeah, once we get to the top of Polnacht. Pflanzgarten uh, mit kaputtem Auto. Genau. So, fast forward to Atomic. Uh, because we brought the car here, um, not as a graveyard, but as a storage. Oh, look at that, familiar car. We actually uh, should drive it maybe this year in its new iteration because it has received a couple of mods over winter. Okay, how does, how does this work? There we go. The engine died, to be more precise, well, it's all yes, old Volvo technology. By the way, check this out, check this out. Let's pull it, come on. Yes, now we can work on it. The engine actually exploded. Apparently it takes a lot of skill to kill a Volvo. Now, interesting part, when it blew up, my biggest fear would have been that it would leak oil all over the track. So when it started actually making noise and power loss, the first thing I was looking is in the rear view mirror, if there was anything like coming off the car on the track. Um, it looked okay. So we rolled towards Flans Garden, we pushed the car off the track. Marshalls didn't charge us anything because we could just, uh, we didn't have to pay, ooh, fancy R6. Uh, we didn't have to pay for the, for lens, for recovery fees or cleaning fees, everything was fine. This is a nice souvenir, by the way. We have one more part of it that I think Casper took with him, the owner. Now, the story behind this, what is going to happen with this? The owner's first reaction was uh, like, hey, do you know anyone who wants to buy it? And I'm like, well, how much? Because how much is 240 worth? A 240 with a broken engine worth. He wanted to take anything for it and I said like okay how much is a working car worth for you in Sweden and I think they would go around like three and a half, four. How much is the engine worth? Free for, or like exchange for a can of Suströmming. Look, look it up that's 
horrible, don't look it up, but yeah, it's a Swedish specialty, I won't call it delicacy. Yeah, so you can get an engine for free, so I said like, hey, why don't you get an engine for free, or bring an engine, take a couple of your friends, go here to the Nürburgring with the engine, swap the engine, because look at it, how, uh, how hard can it be? It's probably like three bolts and a couple of like hoses and whatnot, it's probably very easy and straightforward. Swap the engine, then you have a running car again, and you have lots of uh, memories to what happened with the car and what happened afterwards. So I said, don't worry, I'll take care of the recovery, the transport and storage. I wouldn't say I feel responsible uh, for this, but I feel involved. Because yeah, it's an old car, old engine, things like that can happen. We were not pushing it, we were taking it easy on, on the uphill part when the, when the temperature was starting to rise. And then it simply died. Yeah, it couldn't uh, handle uh, a lap of the Nürburgring. It's not that we misshifted or whatsoever. So like I said, I feel involved, I, I feel sorry. So that's why I said, okay, I'll take care of all the costs when it comes to the storage. And maybe if we have later to pay, maybe for the, um, uh, for the workshop services. But yeah, long story short, if you know the engine, the insert here, the, the, the code, I forgot it already, F something, 23 something. Reach out to the owner, contact details here as well and uh, hopefully we can get this baby on the road by September or so. Check out, by the way, the massive hole in there from the, from the, what's it called? Well, the, the rod. Yeah. Overall, I'm happy that, no, let's switch up the light before, uh, the battery dies of the light. It has its own battery, it seems, because it's not connected to anything as far as I can see. I could be wrong. Um, long story short, what did we learn from it? Be very cautious with old cars. Be prepared that they might blow up. If they are going to blow up, know what to do. In this case, go to a safety pocket or pull over immediately on the side of the track and have a plan B when your car goes and you have to travel to the other, I won't say other part of the world, but the other continent at least, other island in this case. And then luckily he could drive back with his dad so that was not another big issue and yeah hopefully we're gonna have actually a very nice happy ending so but now we have a piece of souvenir I'm surprised again that it didn't leak any oil oh, I forgot to show you it actually just for the sake of YouTube it does have oil so my first thought was since it didn't leak anything that maybe it, it actually died uh, from the oil starvation but it's not the case because look at that we're actually still good it wasn't completely dry but who knows what actually happened it's not that I want to know because the engine is old it will be replaced anyway so yeah another interesting banger of a YouTube in a literal sense well luckily we didn't crash but we did it went out with a bang quite literally it's the first one actually I haven't blown up an engine yet in a real in this way so yeah hope you enjoyed this video and again if you have an engine let us know and looking forward to bringing this baby back alive should we like maybe i don't know ls swap it that would be sick that would be sick hmm.